Hi Libra, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of October 2023. I'm going to pull for you a seven card spread, see who pops up into your reading today with romantic feelings towards you. I'll see how they truly feel. I'll look at their true intentions. I'll take a look at their behavior towards you. And I'll also be diving deep into what's in your blind spot with this person, Libra. Meaning, what can negatively impact the connection with this person this week that maybe you have no idea could even be an issue for the two of you in the first place? Whether you're doing something to sabotage the connection unbeknownst to yourself, Libra, or your person is, or something or someone external to the two of you is causing some havoc for the two of you guys' relationship. Whether it's the universe saying, Libra, you don't belong with this person, you know we can't keep you guys together, or there's something else going on. My job is to find out what it could be, why it could be, or if it could be a thing in the first place, followed by your advice. I do get pretty nosy in these readings, so you've been warned. Also, if you're dealing with any recent no contact stuff, such as with friends, lovers, family, I will pull your person's hidden feelings at the end of the reading. But before I begin, happy birthday, Libra. I hope your birthday season is treating you amazing. So with that said, let's get to it. Spirit, please connect me to my birthday babies. What do we have for Libra today in love for the week of October 2023? Please tell me who is surrounding them romantically and can Libra trust this person's intentions with them? Libra, love October 2023. What is their weekly tarot forecast? Libra, October 2023. Love, what is their weekly tarot forecast, please? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck from my birthday babies. Okay, Libra, your person's feelings for you, what are they? We have the Seven of Cups. Could be a Scorpio that you're connecting to this week. Doesn't have to be. Your person's intentions with you this week. We have the Three of Wands. And I'm being directed to that calendar where it shows me a date circled at the last week of the month. So I don't know if this person is planning something towards the two of you for the last week of October as we're in Scorpio season around that time. Um, or if you guys live at a distance and you guys are planning to visit each other, there's something that this person's intending to plan with you, okay? What's their behavior towards you this week? Page of Pentacles. So there is open communication. This person is coming in with very stable energy towards you. They like you. I just need to find out why the Seven of Cups is here. Because the Seven of Cups can also be, you know, not putting all your eggs in one basket, which is telling me that maybe they don't feel like you guys are at that stage where they feel like this is the, you know, end all be all and they're keeping their options open. Or they're feeling confused about how they feel about the situation and there's going to be more communication building up between the two of you as the week goes by so that they can, you know, get to know you better. Because the Page of Pentacles is a student. It's someone open to learning about the other. As you see your person opening up that book, that person's opening up that book, open to learning about you. But if you notice carefully, a couple pages are being skipped. So you might have someone that is trying to skip you know, a couple steps in the process of getting to know you that will also help with why this person's feeling confused because they're skipping a couple steps in the process. You know, it's, it's someone that likes to like just rush. So how do you feel about this person? The Empress, you adore this person, Libra. You feel like this person is your, your style. You feel like this person makes you feel good. You feel like you light up when this person's around or when you're talking to them. You feel like something is developing between the two of you and any day now, whatever that is, can, can come out and be seen by the world, AKA making your relationship more public, less private. You know, because when, when you're dealing with the Empress, only her closest family members and friends know who she's developing feelings for, you know, until she lets it known to the rest of the world, hey, I have somebody, you know. Um, so some of you guys are keeping your relationship with this person hush, not really telling too many people, you know, keeping a lot of people out of your business. And for others, you may feel like you have no choice but to keep it private, okay? Um, there's something, something happening very, very soon. And for those of you who are with child, maybe this could be saying that at the end of October, um, someone's packing up the, the 
hospital bag to you know have this delivery I might have some pregnant Librans watching but that's only for a select few of you now what's in the blind spot what can negatively impact the connection this week that you don't see Libra the hanged man major account for Pisces now when the hanged man shows up in the blind spot it's telling me a few different things but the one that stands out the most is what's gonna hurt this relationship perhaps is someone not looking at the other person's point of view not gaining a different perspective on what's really happening with the situation overall whether that be you or your person or you both are having trouble gauging the other person's perspective on things on how something is unfolding how something is moving along and things like that something feels like it's on standby this week like there's a waiting period here kind of like like when you're about to expect a, a um, you know your water to break it's like pins and needles when is it gonna happen we're on standby waiting for the doctor you know just throwing that out there that's just an example I'm not saying that all of you guys are pregnant um, but I'm getting the energy of you and this person on standby for a specific date for her for some reason I, I keep on getting like a week or two from now like you guys are expecting something to happen around this time frame for some reason like I, I don't know if this is a reunion for the two of you and you guys are excited or this person's playing something for your birthday um, there's some sort of energy surrounding we need a wait Libra and then you're over here like yeah I know you both are on board with waiting on something waiting on announcing your relationship um, waiting on you know taking something to another level there's some sort of energy of waiting but that might start to interfere as the week goes on when someone starts to get a little antsy, a little impatient, you know. What's the potential weekly outcome? The Emperor. Aries energy. Libra, I mean, you've you've got somebody here that wants to be with you. The three of wands waits on that fourth wand. And the fourth wand in tarot is the four of wands. It's it's relationship, it's commitment, it's talking about marriage, it's moving in with each other. And I am seeing someone packing up their bags. Is this person planning to ask you to move in with them at the end of the month? Or is their lease up at the end of the month and they're needing to stay with you? I, there's something surrounding the end of the month. Um, but it feels it feels stable with that emperor energy. Because the emperor and the upright and the empress and the upright are, upright are really stable people, very loving people. It's the husband and wife of the zodiac, the mom and dad of the zodiac. You might have someone that is feeling confused right now, seven of cups, but it's also a fantasy energy. It's daydreaming about something, daydreaming about what's happening between the two of you with the intention of waiting for something to happen and the three of wands is waiting on your manifestations waiting for what you've been wanting to come in their behavior is very stable it's very loyal it's very open to communication and 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 open to learning about each other but someone might get a little impatient on the waiting process worrying that they're waiting in vain but then out of nowhere the emperor comes in and secures the the deal you know Pointing to that contract saying, hey, do you agree to these terms and conditions? Do you want to be with me? And that could be a marriage certificate um, or a, a lease to an apartment or a home. If you guys are planning to move in with each other, something's getting serious. For some of you, you guys are already in a serious relationship and this is a, a marriage proposal. Something's getting serious. That's all I know. I'll know more as I clarify. What's your advice? Six of Pentacles, your advice is to give to this if it's giving to you in return. You might be dealing with someone with Taurus in their moon placement, but we are having that eclipse in Libra and we have the, the moon in Libra and I'm looking at that justice symbol. Even though this is Taurus's reading or Taurus's card, this is that symbol belongs to you. And Libra season, you know, gets us all focusing on the seventh house, relationships. So somebody here is really focusing on the relationship big time around this time, okay? Uh, what's the overall energy? The Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Now when the overall energy shows up as the Queen of Swords, it's, it's telling me that you both are ready to have a serious conversation. It's holding that sword in your hand and it just being everything that is truthful between two people, sharing, sharing what needs to be shared you know it's it's not lovey-dovey it's not playful it's not cutesy it's getting to the, the getting to the you know bones of a situation and and talking and being like all right where do we go from here 
Let's get serious. Where do we go from here? Is what I'm getting off of this strongly, Libra. Um, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Someone's protecting something. Someone wants to protect something. Something private is being protected in that safe. Okay, so I'm gonna start clarifying. One second. And for some of you, this person is waiting on the right time to give you a gift, because it is your birthday season. You know, the Page of Pentacles doesn't have to be like a grand gesture, but it could be like, you know, here I saw this at the gift shop and I thought of you. You know, me and my kids got this at a gift shop. It's very special to me. All right, so let's get your person's feelings. Seven of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups for how this person feels? We have the Six of Cups and we have the Fool and the Moon. Now the Six of Cups is the energy of feeling like you have a very sweet soul bond connection with somebody. Feeling like someone makes you feel a way that other people don't make you feel. I've met people with the Six of Cups energy in my own life and I can tell you for firsthand that it's noticeable. It's not something that you overlook. When you meet someone that carries the Six of Cups energy, it's that person that you meet where immediately you feel like you've known them all of your life. Like you go way, way, way back. Like you're having like a high school reunion with someone even though you just met them. It's feeling like you may have had a past life with somebody. It, it's, it's feeling so comfortable to where the relationship might happen very fast to outsiders where people might look and be like, Libra, you just met this person three weeks ago and you're already saying I love you to each other and talking about moving in with each other. Are you for real? And you guys are like, you don't understand. It feels like I've known this person for six years, 16 years, 60 years. It just feels so comfy, you know? This person's fantasizing and daydreaming and ready to take some sort of leap of faith, take some sort of risk, wanting a new start with the full card. But there is some insecurities with the moon or a need to keep something private and discreet and hidden. And that leads me to the Eight of Swords. You know, someone worried about something being sabotaged. Someone scared something is gonna be sabotaged the moment it gets out. You know, people put their bad voo-voo on it, you know, and start like putting in their what ifs and are you sure? and don't you think you're being a little bit rushed in your situation? It's like you, you and this person are protecting your relationship because you don't wanna hear people tell you that you guys are moving on too quick with each other or something is just, to, to, I don't know. There's something going on here. I need to find out because there's a reason why you're feeling like you have to keep something private. Let me get your feelings. Your feelings for this person, Libra, is the Empress. You feel, you feel good. You feel like you and this person got a good thing developing. Some of you guys have known each other for about nine months or so. Um, why the Empress for how Libra feels? The Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is Leo energy, Queen of Swords is Libra. Some of you guys may be divorcees, divorced mothers, or you just been through some heartbreak in your life and you're very assertive these days, okay? Somebody's keeping an eye on you and you're keeping an eye on them. I got the Page of Swords and I got the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords is somebody watching somebody and the Queen of Swords in this art depiction shows me you watching another. You might be a bit older than this person, but not by much. But um, I am getting that you're watching them and they're watching you. Okay, it could be someone with air in their chart. But if that's not the case, there's just this energy of being careful, being cautious, looking over your shoulder. It's like you are trying to keep this connection on the down low. Do, do kids still say that on the down low? All right, so. Your person's intentions with you is the Three of Wands. Why the Three of Wands? The Tower, wow. And the Page of Pentacles. So whatever this Page of Pentacles is, which is a good energy, it's not a bad energy. Whatever this is, it's going to shock the heck out of you. You know, it, it's gonna be very sudden. It's gonna surprise you. You know, it just, it, it feels like something's going on. The Tower, is a shakeup of a foundation. It's it's a it's a big change. It's a massive change. Sometimes the tower is like, oh crap, this tower again. And then other times it's a good tower. It's like, thank goodness the tower came in when we needed it. It, it could be any of those for you both. Um, so let's clarify the hanged man because that's what's in your blind spot. 
Why the hanged man? Someone may feel like someone is keeping a relationship on hold because of fear of changes or fear of other people knowing about the relationship. Someone's very private. You know, the hanged man in this art depiction always reminds me of, you know, that special outfit you want to wear, but you don't know when you can wear it. So it's in your closet and you're staring at it. And it's like, oh man, I want to wear this dress already and show it off, but I know it's not ready yet. I'm waiting on the right time, the right date. You know, something like that. Why the hanged man? Ah, that one wanted to come out. Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups when it's in the blind spot, that's someone having too many choices. And then I got the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is building a, a life with someone, built to last 10 plus years. It's moving in with somebody, as I'm seeing some moving boxes in a home. Um, someone's confused about whether or not they're ready to move in with somebody or to ask someone if they wanna move in. And for others, someone may already be living in a situation that is not conducive for the two of you guys to be together. Whether they're still, you know, living at their mom's house and you can't like, you know, couch surf at the at that place, or there's something else going on. Um, someone is not able to secure this this commitment just yet, or to give to it the way that they should with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, and then I got the Page of Pentacles as their behavior. So let's see. Why is the Page of Pentacles this person's behavior with Libra this week? Page of Wands and the Three of Cups. They want a reunion with you or they want to celebrate something with you. I mean, the Three of Cups is my birthday card. So depending on whether you've already celebrated or you're about to, um, this person might want to have a belated birthday get together with you or they're planning something. The Three of Cups is always a good energy. It's fun. It's, hey Libra, um, let's meet up for drinks or let's meet up for dinner. What do you say? You know, let's go for a, a walk by the beach. You know, the potential weekly outcome, the emperor. You know, the emperor is the number four, which is the energy of taking assertive approach to securing a foundation. And then once that foundation is secure, the empress with the number three goes into that secure foundation and creates life inside of it. You know, why the emperor? Four of swords in reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles. This person's planning something. The Knight of Pentacles is planning. Um, it's it's slow process. It's a slow process, but it's slow and steady. And the Knight of Pentacles is the only knight that makes it to the finish line with something stable. It's carrying that pentacle. And the Four of Swords in Reverse could be telling me that there was a much needed break between the two of you to make this decision to plan something, or or somebody had to separate from something that they were holding on to that was blocking the two of you from being together where whether you or this person because the hanged man is also the energy of needing to surrender and let go of what is no, was no longer necessary in one's life like the night the hanged man in this situation could also be looking in your closet and seeing that dress that you know you don't wear anymore but you're keeping it in your closet it's taking up space and it's time to take it out move it Donate it and put something that you are going to wear in its place. Something that's more in alignment with you now. All right. Why is the Six of Pentacles Libra's advice? The High Priestess, your advice is to always hone in to your intuition. Your intuition is already giving you downloads. Don't second guess it. Don't start rationalizing it. Don't start, you know, tearing it apart. If, if you get a download, Trust that it's your guides and your higher self talking to you, okay? But I definitely feel like there's some change here between the two of you. Something is changing. Something major is changing. I feel like how your connection was a week ago is going to be very different this week. Um, but if any of you guys are in any recent no contact situations, I'm going to pull your person's hidden feelings. But for zodiac signs that came through this reading, I have Libra, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, um... I also see that as Cancerian energy. And uh, yeah, that's the main ones that wanted to come through, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? But it looks like someone is taking control of the situation because you guys have a lot of potential here. This is beautiful energy to see the Emperor and Empress together in a spread, okay? 
please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like the book of private reading, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. I also just did the recent all signs reading. I will link that in the description box below of this video where you can dive into your person's feelings for you again. If this didn't resonate and just click on the Libra timestamp. I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. I also did an October love monthly for you and a weekly that's in my October playlist. I'm feeling lost. I don't know what to do about it. My heart always comes back to you even when, rewind. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. Letting you down was the worst decision I made. All right, Libra, that was for you. Happy birthday. I love you guys. All right, so until next time. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, and I'll see you later. Later, Gators.